How to use Docker Compose with Jenkins. Docker is an open source project that makes it easy to create, deploy, and run applications by using containers. Docker Compose makes it even easier to use the power of Docker by simplifying the process of setting up and running multiple containers with a single command. In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to use Jenkins to run Docker Compose and then run a test against the containers that are started by Docker Compose. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.319.3. And attached to this controller, I have a Linux-based agent running Docker and Docker Compose v2. The first thing that we're going to do is we are going to create a GitHub repository for the project that we're going to be building throughout this video. So let me go ahead and bring up a shell. And let's go ahead and create our repository. And once this repository has been created, let's go ahead and CD into it. And the link for this repository is down in the description. And then let's go ahead and open this up in VS Code. And the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to create a Jenkins file to test out that everything is installed that we expect on our agent. So let's go ahead and say new file, Jenkins file. And I'm going to say pipeline agent any stages, whoops, lowercase, stage. I'm going to say verify tooling. And within here, I'm going to say SSH with a triple quote. I'm going to say Docker info, Docker version, Docker compose version. Curl dash dash version and JQ dash dash version for the test that we're going to be running. And that should be it. Let me verify all of my notes. I believe that is correct. And it is. Okay. Now you'll notice that we're using Docker Compose v2. So if you've used Docker Compose in the past where it was Docker dash compose, that's not what we're doing. We're using Docker Compose v2. And just for grins, let's flip this around to where version is first. So version, info, compose version, curl version, JQ version. All right, let's go ahead and commit this file up to our repository. And let's go back over to our controller and let's create a job. So I'm gonna say new item. I'm gonna call this Docker Compose. Pipeline, click OK. Let's go down here to pipeline script from SCM. Change our SCM to Git. There's our URL. We are on the main branch. And script path is Jenkins file. Click on Save and click on Build Now. Let's scroll back up and look at our output. So from our first one with Docker version, we see that we're running Docker Engine Community version and it's 20.10. Same on the server side. And then once we run Docker Info, we see from a plugin perspective, we have Docker Compose 223 installed, along with the other plugins that come along for the ride. We also have a direct output of Docker Compose version, which is 223, and we also have curl version and JQ version. So all the tooling that we need to finish up this project is now ready to go. Let's go ahead and go back over to VS Code, and let's create a Docker Compose file. So we'll say docker-compose, YAML. And for this Docker Compose file, I'm just going to be using an echo server. So I'm just downloading an echo server that I found on Docker Hub. And we're going to send over some data to this echo server, and then we'll just check to make sure we get an answer back. That's going to be our test. So let's go back over to our Jenkins file, and let's go ahead and finish building out the rest of this Jenkins file. So stage is going to be, first off, I'm going to prune Docker data. And I'm going to be a little aggressive with this. And I'm going to say that, I'm going to say Docker system prune, dash A, volumes, and force. So I'm basically cleaning up any images, containers, networks, volumes, everything. I'm just cleaning it all out to begin with. You may or may not want to do that. That's up to you. But every time I run this pipeline, I want everything to start out clean. So let's go ahead and move on to the next stage. And my next stage is going to be starting the container. 
And for steps here, it's going to be SH. And I'm actually going to do two steps here. First up is Docker Compose up dash D to put it in the background. No color, since I'm running in the console, I don't really need to see that. And I'm doing a dash dash wait. And then one more step I want to run here is Docker Compose PS, just to output what is running from when we ran the up. Okay, that's the start. Let's go to stage. And the next one is going to be run tests against the container. And these aren't so much tests as I'm just doing a verification. Steps sh, and the command I want to run is curl localhost 3000. I'm passing in the parameters. If you look at the documentation for that image, this is the example pulled from their documentation. And then I'm just piping that out to JQ. Now, since I ran the up command, I also need to run the down command. But I don't want to run the down command in a stage. What I want to do is I actually want to put that at a post level always, because no matter what happens, whether this passes or fails, I always want to go ahead and force a down. So I'm going to say sh, and then say docker compose down. I'm including remove orphans, and I'm also with the dash v, removing volumes that are left behind. So I could have run Docker system prune again, but I decided at least for this example to show how to remove items when things go down. And then finally, just to verify that everything is down, I'm going to run Docker compose ps. So let's go ahead and commit these two files up. And I'll just say Docker compose. Let's sync these changes. Let's go back over to our controller. And let's run this job one more time. And now that it's finished, we'll scroll back up and look at what happened. We have all of our information at the beginning of the pipeline. I'll leave that in. It's always good to leave that. We do our Docker system prune. And since this was a clean agent at this point, there was nothing to clean up. We run our Docker Compose up dash D. With our wait, we see that the image is being downloaded. Then when we run Docker Compose S, we see that our echo server one is actually running. We see our ports setting here. We run our curl. We get back an answer. That's a very trivial test, but we get an answer back. So that's all I wanted to make sure I got. And then we run Docker Compose down, removing orphans and the volumes. We see everything being stopped and then removed. And then finally, when we run Docker Compose PS again, the echo server is gone. Why would you want to run Docker Compose using Jenkins? If you're going to be running your application using Docker Compose, then it makes sense to use Jenkins to run Docker Compose to preview and run automated tests against your application whenever a build is triggered. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Yeah.